Oh, reveal. And welcome back to the Art Guys channel. So, I wanted to let you guys know about my camp experience that happened a couple weeks ago. I didn't let you guys know because honestly, it was uh, quite the experience to say the least. And it was a real hard time. And it was flipping hick, guys. Flipping hick. And when I say hick, I mean H E double hacky sticks. For real. Everything sucked there, guys. First of all, everyone knew each other. And that made for a real accurate situation. For me, the art guy. Ashley gotta go too. <laughs> but she had a real good time. <laughs> a real good time. And I think it must be nice. I was having a flipping heck of experience. <sighs> Ashley made friends. Ashley was having fun. Every time I saw her, she was laughing, smiling, giggling, to say even the least. And I was wanting to cry. And she was in the treehouse, girl. I was in a castaway camp. <laughs> Let me tell you, it really was like a castaway. Because my mattress looked like it was covered in fecal matter. And seeing her smile that much really ticked me off. Actually, the whole freak flipping experience ticked me off. So sorry about the patty words, guys. And I was trying to talk to one of the boy campers. So I was talking to one of the boy campers, you know, trying to make some kind of band, some kind of friendship of sorts. Cause that's why I went. And I was trying to tell him like how I'm emo and how I am very emotional. And he just said, okay. And then he whacked off. And that really ticked me off. But there was one good thing. The most beautiful gal I've ever seen in my whole life was at that camp. I, uh, it's hard to even put words to describe how gorgeous this girl was. Her name was Cassandra. And she reminds me of like a feather floating gracefully in the wind. There are some real hot guys too. But anyway, what was listed on the website was like the most awesome experience. Archery. A uh, ropes course, uh, uh, zip lining, uh, canoeing, all these things, okay? And guess what? Half of them weren't even available, and that really ticked me off. I have like 10 new crushes though, which made the experience a little more worth it, a little worth being ticked off. And I was like, oh, there's Cassandra again. And I mean, she did say hi, and she said she liked my shirt. So I guess that's something, guys. It's moving kind of fast, actually. I got a Roblox ID as well. <laughs> so hopefully she plays with me sometimes, guys. I'll let you guys know first what happens, because you guys are my best friends. Someone's in trouble over there, guys. There's a sheriff talking to some kind of village drunk, village doofus, and that's why you don't do drugs, folks. Or drink alcohol. So yeah, lots of new crushes and lots more experiences that really sucked. Yeah, so all the boys were just like, bro, and I was like, no. And the worst part of it all. So one day, our camp counselors woke us up by saying, hey, guys, we're going to have a real fun day today. A real fun day. So they led us on an excursion, and they wouldn't tell us any deets about what was going on. So they led us up a mountain. We had to hike and hike and hike. And then the camp counselor laid out a big tarp, and that was the fun. We had to sleep on a tarp with no roof, with nothing. And quite honestly, it was terrifying and very uncomfortable. And I slept next to someone who didn't use enough deodorant, so they really smelled bad. But I'm too nice to say anything. But they smell like onion and garlic, and, but not the good kind. And three people cried that night. They were crying for their moms and dads. And I was the only one who didn't. You know, I toughened up. I, I had a tear slowly form in my eyeball, but I, so, I slurped it back up. I sucked it right back into my tear socket. And I, you know, just held it in for all I could. So yeah, I just wanted you guys to know how tough I am and how cool and uh, hard as nails as I am. And I was sleeping next to these two boys that just kept on talking and kept on saying, I miss my mom. And the other one's like, I miss my mom. So I miss my mom. No, I miss my mom. And they were just like, all night long, blah, 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 wah, wah, wah. And I was trying to sleep. 
I was trying to get some rest and these boys wouldn't shut up. So eventually I sternly cleared my throat. <sighs> An example. <clears throat> and uh, I think they got the picture because after that they shut right up and went to bed. But it was a long night, guys. I had to sleep on a rut, on a rack, and I was just in a rock and a hard place, guys. In between, yeah. It, it was just a rock and a hard place. Oh, and fifth thing, our neighbors across the way at our new place. So me and Ashley have been trying to enjoy our pool because summer break's almost over, obviously. And guess what? They're throwing out, I don't know what they got. It might be a dead baddie. It might be, you know, carcasses of some sort. But they have it sitting right next to the fence. And all I smell when I'm outside is rotten freaking flesh. Excuse my patty words. And I swear it goes, it washes right up into my nostrils. And my mom even asked them politely to maybe move it further away from the property line. Oh my gosh, kid. Kitty. Kitty. Where'd it go? So yeah, it, it, it smells terrible. I really want to pet that kit, but I don't want to invade his privacy. So Ashley almost fell. <laughs> anyway, yeah, they haven't taken it out. They're really rude. Um, it really stinks. And I told my mom she's a cow by authorities. And she said no. She said no, that's silly. It's just garbage. It's just rotten meat because they have a fridge that's out front and it's his free fridge and they just must have scooped out their raw chicken and hamburger and pork chips and just thrown it in the trash for it to get all hot. All hot and stinky. And I wish you all a good night.